On the 23rd of May 2014, MEC Wesley Tigana was sworn in as the MEC for Transport, Safety and Liaison. MEC Tigana ensures that the South African Police Service deliver on their mandate to create a safe and secure environment for all people in the province and that they are held accountable for the services they render to their communities. Society looks upon men and women in blue to fight the evil deeds of crime and corruption. MEC Tigan is the chairperson of the anti-corruption task team in the province. Amongst others, she ensures that sustainable partnerships with stakeholders to reduce corruption and improve integrity management are developed and strengthens the resourcing, cooperation and independence of dedicated anti-corruption agencies. MEC Tigana emphasizes on the mobilization of communities to participate in combating crime through establishing and strengthening community policing forums, street and village committees, amongst others, as these structures remain fundamental in our efforts to eliminate crime. The foundation of our crime reduction strategy is therefore entrenched around strong community police partnerships. MEC Degana leads from the front on school safety projects aimed towards reaching out to and improving relationships with our communities and to create safer schools for conducive learning environment for the youth. She also constantly visits roadblocks to ensure that school safety starts from the vehicles transporting learners to schools. MEC Degana ensures that safety and liaison together with the South African Police Service intensify and sustain our fight against crime especially crime that is perpetuated against our most vulnerable – children, women, the elderly and the physically challenged. This was evident when she called a media briefing together with the SNK Provincial Commissioner, Lieutenant General Lizzie Winjinga, when the province was engulfed by senseless killing of elderly women. During the briefing, she tasked the Provincial Commissioner of the South African Police Service and the Acting Head of Department for Community Safety and Liaison to provide her with a comprehensive strategy to be implemented in curbing the murderous scourge that is rising in the province and provide her with a plan that will ensure the education of our communities in the fight against crime, especially in the rural areas and mob justice in the province. In a mission to participate in efforts to address the causes of crime, MEC Tigana constantly engages with liquor board and tavern owners on compliance matters. MEC Tigana encourages community members at all platforms to work together with the South African Police Service because someone, somewhere, somehow knows something about crime in their area, irrespective of their age or gender. Active participation in crime prevention is the responsibility of every member of the community. Bringing excellent services and resources to the people is one of the priorities of government as this is a progressive step towards positively touching and being part of the lives of the people of this province. On the 21st of June 2017, MEC Dekana proudly handed over brand new and much needed vehicles to various clusters around the province. The vehicles handed over to cluster commanders play an important role in assisting us in patrolling our highways and byways and being more visible in our communities. The MEC spoke directly to the community and listened to their problems and complaints during various community engagements in Bewulin in Dudra, Vigisville in Biti to name but a few. Eastern Cape is one of the few provinces where the partnership between safety and liaison is intensified and yielding good results. <laughs>